California could soon have a new law to help dogs and cats used in research. If the animals survive, the lab would have to find adoptive homes for the animals. Research labs, didn't, they don't like this plan. Only on five. Betty Yu asked them, why not? He's been free for 19 days. Politics has gone to the dogs in Sacramento this year. A pack of beagles and their owners have been regular visitors to the state capitol to support AB 147. The bill would require publicly funded labs using dogs and cats for research to put the healthy ones like Riley up for adoption rather than put them to sleep once the testing's over. This bill isn't about the research process. This bill is about the humane treatment of animals. Assembly member Matt DeBobney authored the legislation. If that animal is healthy enough and can humanely live, I think we have a responsibility as a state to make sure that that animal is given an opportunity to become someone's pet, to become part of someone's family. On behalf of the University of California. But the biomedical industry doesn't see it that way. At a recent committee hearing, lobbyists told lawmakers the bill is not necessary and could even be harmful. We've become more and more aware of what the true intent of the sponsors of this bill really are, and that is to insinuate themselves into our research programs. The sponsor is the nonprofit, the Beagle Freedom Project. A group industry spokesperson, Dr. Robert Phelan, says he doesn't trust. The sponsors of the bill have ties with organizations that have been involved in terrorism against research. He points to a case involving Huntingdon Life Sciences. 18 years ago, an undercover PETA investigation allegedly showed HLS staff shaking, punching, and shouting at beagles in their care. The technicians involved were prosecuted. We're out here today. But so were the activists that launched a campaign to shut Huntingdon down. Junior was in two different labs. He's got tattoos in both ears. One of those activists, this man. Kevin Chase, vice president of the Beagle Freedom Project. We're talking about trends, though, that happened more than a decade ago. It seems unfair to accuse the entire organization of being extremists. Now, Betty, uh, I, like I say, I, I understand your defense of the people involved. I'm just speaking of the facts. I'm not defending them. Even today, even today, there are links to the anarchist movements. Not only is that incredibly, incredibly false and insulting, um, but that, that's defamation. Shannon Keith is the nonprofit's president. She says the accusations are just an attempt to divert attention from the real issue. This is the industry's dirty little secret. They don't want the public to know, especially dogs and cats, whom we share our homes with, are being tested on. Betty Yu, KPIX 5. The bill has sailed through the assembly. The Senate will now take a vote on it.